Hey yo, and welcome back to the channel. Big shout out to all you new subscribers, Hangover Gang, hashtag Hog. Appreciate it. Can't believe the response from the last reaction video to Tom McDonald's The System. Tom absolutely nailed it, by the way, and it was fun to make. I really did like it, and yeah, just being genuine in how I felt and uh, how it resonated with me in what he said and this journey that I've been on for like over a decade and a half now. But much of it you can't talk about. Can you? But we can put it into art, can't we? And, and, and show the, the younger ones the little bits of truth. <laughs> but yeah, do appreciate it. And to those of you previously subscribed for the podcast, uh, episode five of the podcast will be filmed in the next week and a half, I believe. That's with a very special friend of mine called Adam from uh, down south. He was a listener to the show that I used to co-host over on True Frequency Radio back in the day, covering all the conspiracies and stuff. So, yeah, I'm not new to this way of thinking. But, however, yeah, let's not get too deep into certain things, nasty algorithms, and people like to complain. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let Tom do the talking. But, yeah, we're going to go back to one of Tom's tracks that I did hear back when I was on my Tom McDonald Marathon. A year and a half ago listening to all his stuff but yeah i wanted to go back through a few old tracks with you guys and uh also wanted you to leave some comments and let me know what types of content you think i should make i am going to definitely be doing the podcasts which is uh, the audio versions are available on all the streaming platforms wherever you get podcasts on the ie media podcast some links on my channel somewhere and the video versions on my channel as well so, but they're just going to be like maybe once a month for now till I can pick up and uh, you know get enough guests and, and stuff but I'm going to do some reaction stuff some review stuff and maybe a bit of vlogging and gaming in between I don't know you guys just hit me up give me some feedback tell me what you'd like to see me do after all you are the subscribers so I do appreciate that but yeah let's get it Tom McDonald with dummies this is going to be fun I remember this is a bouncy one I've uh, not listened to it for quite a while, so it's it's not really a reaction, but it's a re-reaction to something I've not heard for a while, so let's get it, Tom. Make me smile. <laughs> Come on, bro. I love the earth, but I don't really want to save it. Everything is sexist, homophobic, or it's racist. When life gives us lemons, we're supposed to want to change it, but my generation rather take some pills than escape it. Ooh. Say that I'm transphobic if you want to, but one day I'll be a father, and I really hope my son don't grow up to be my daughter. Oh, sh oh shit, oh shit, oh. I remember that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> he hopes his son doesn't to grow up to be his father. Daughter. Oh. 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 So maybe we need them after all. Awesome. <laughs> Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Yep. Not you guys watching, but that's how I felt for the last few years, screaming this out. Wake up. <laughs> One's obsessed with making stupid people famous. If a white boy raps, then it's called appropriation. But Beyonce has a hair blonde, and people say she slayed it. Everybody's outraged, everybody's mad. Our solutions to the issues don't make no sense. Yep. Stairs are the problem. We build wheelchair ramps. We don't cancel feet or persecute the people with legs. The feminists who started the movement would be ashamed of so many things. They thought so you could vote. I show your butthole on only videos. So awesome, by the way. Person, you don't like what I say. <laughs> Call me homophobic just because I think straight. Ooh, I love even ooh, ooh. Ooh. That, get, that gets a little rewind. They call me homophobic because I speak straight. Homophobic just because I think straight. Think I straight. My bad. We wow. I wish we could get Wi-Fi signals from a tree. <laughs> everyone would plant them and we'd probably <laughs> save the planet for free. That's why we only <laughs> yeah. need them to breathe. Oh. <laughs> I'm going back to that. That's hilarious. Oh, let me go back. Let me go back. Sorry. Sorry. 
Too bad we only need him to breathe. Oh. Oh. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Sorry, Greta. <laughs> Straight up facts. Straight up. This should be the theme of the last event. Yes, kids. Definitely. Let me just interject something there. Something that... One of my guests said on the previous episodes, and he's talking about the kids there putting the phones down for a while. And uh, Jeff was telling me on the show, I tried to find it to make a little short out of it, but I couldn't find it anyway. Strolling through like three hours of footage. But anyway, he said that he heard this thing that we're all looking at our phones, like straining our eyes constantly, looking down, looking down, looking down. And he said, if you just do this little exercise at least once a day for, you know, a couple of minutes, just like look up at the sky, focus on things far away, maybe like a plane, some birds, some trees or something, and just just let your eyes like stretch out, you know, because we're, we are, it makes sense because we're just like strained, strained, strained. Just look at some stuff far away and give your eyes a break. Anyway, back on with the track. Do something illegal. Go and meet your families. They're probably nice people. These days you're a Nazi if you don't hate the police. They say that white folks think all Asian people are Chinese. I'm sorry, what kind of white people you mean? English, Scottish, German, Swedish, or Greek. And Black Lives Matter was problematic. It excludes anyone without the pigment. It's automatic. I understand all the reasons it happened, but including all humans is the actual answer. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. And, and let's not forget mixed race people as well, because they get it hard. When it comes to racism, they get stick from both sides. and can be kind of hard to fit in i know personally myself and one of my previous guests knew himself about it when he was talking about growing up in africa and malawi and being mixed race and kind of light-skinned and yeah so racism exists no matter where you are but the fact of the matter is that we're all being played in this big system that they call the game of life so listen to tom y'all <laughs> That was class, Tom. Absolutely class as usual. And Nova on them videos. I love that video. That was really colourful, really awesome and energetic. Those are the kinds of tracks that I like from Tom. I like all his tracks. You know, the guy is a very good storyteller and his wordplay and the message, the deeper message that he's trying to get out to people. And it seems to be working. I mean, look, 4.1 million views seven days ago from the system. Let me just check Wait here. Adverts. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. 279,000 likes. I actually like that. I don't know why this is showing that I've not liked it because I actually liked it in the reaction video. So, yeah, somebody out there is messing with likes and stuff like that. I've seen this before with artists that are a little bit controversial. A guy that I, call, a guy that I watch called Kid from uh, Flint, Michigan. Does a lot of live streams, does a lot of tracks and stuff. And... Uh, He's got like 350,000 subs, but he'll go live and get like 20 viewers and 30, 40 if he's lucky. People share it out. And you just see like his tracks are, I mean, even the reactions I've done on my channel, they're just getting no views at all because controversial and stuff. But that's how it is with these algorithms. But Tom has got that much love because he's blew up. Um, the Hangover Gang are making this happen and spreading his stuff but clearly you can see they're messing with and this isn't the first time go and look at tom's channel he's done a few videos on what's happening with the industry and how they don't like his message in his music but this isn't the first time is it we've had this before in history cut bob marley for one <laughs> many more after him and look at the outcomes 
But this is a different world now. And we got Tom's back. So, Hangover Gang, all y'all watching. If you made it this far, actually, if you made it this far, because I'm, I'm seeing in the retention people drop off, then No Life Shack does this, but just write pineapples. I <laughs> appreciate it. Just so I know, those of you that are watching to the end and maybe you've got some feedback and some ideas and, uh, yeah, I'll certainly listen to you because you, the viewer, is what it's all about. And, yeah. I don't have things to say now. Bye.